welcome to the show. Today I'm gonna be ranking every single FNAF song made by the Living Tombstone. Now I probably don't need to give you an introduction to the Living Tombstone. They made what possibly be the best FNAF songs in existence, like in the lifespan of FNAF history. Now we're gonna lay out a few things, like rules. The rules are simple. These songs gonna be based on a few things, like obviously the song I mean if you're ranking a song you're always gonna rank the song itself animation how memorable they are and how accurate they are to the game now you're gonna say it's a song why are you ranking the the accuracy Maybe because it's a FNAF song and most of the time people think that the song has anything to do with the lore so I'm gonna put it as a base rating so let's start with the Obvious, the FNAF one. <laughs> Honestly, the FNAF one song is a certified hood classic, but that doesn't mean that's an S tier. First, the song uh, I'm gonna give it an eight. The beat is uh, good and all, but the voice changer is really bad. Second, we have the animation. The animation is just uh, the FNAF one office, but with a glitch effect. So I'm gonna give it a three. But now I gotta say. It's probably the most memorable song out of them all. Like everyone still remembers uh, to this day. So I'm gonna give it a 10. Based on uh, accuracy wise, I gotta say. Uh, the only thing they got right is the kids being stuffed into the animatronic suits. And uh, the only thing they got wrong is uh, being stuck in 1987, which is wrong. If, uh, but you gotta give it to them. This is the first time uh, someone tried to explain the lore. I'm gonna give FNAF 1 a B tier. FNAF 2, the song is gonna be one of the most greatest songs out of all of them. The beat and the lyrics, it's really just that good. It's the best. I'm gonna give it a straight 10 out of 10. Go to it. The animation, honestly, the second best. Trust me, you might not like the pixel animation, but it's really good. Better than others. It's also. Uh, remade the original game so I'm gonna give it a 10 but it's not perfect none of these are because the lore accuracy is horrendous like the purple guy is wearing a Freddy costume not a spring bunny costume also Freddy wasn't roaming around the pizzeria holding a cake the only thing they got right is the kid that was gonna be murdered and put in sty inside golden Freddy was the most important one so I'm gonna give it at least a 2 Memorability, I'm gonna give it an 8. It's rememberable, but it's not as much as the FNAF 1 song. Honestly, it's a masterpiece, but the accuracy is bad, though it gets carried by the animation. And the song itself is a, is a straight S. <laughs> Love it. FNAF 3, gotta be one of the most mediocre songs out of them all. First, the song is catchy, but not good, as the others have better lyrics. So I'm gonna give the song uh, an 6. But I would listen to others. The animation, you might think, is better than the others, since the only one that is fully 3D. But no, heck no. Why? Because I hate those models. I hate them. I just hate them. Okay, so let's start with uh, the first. They are got very squished heads. Bonnie got a squarish head. Chica got a, a, f a perfect circle headed. Foxy, you know what? Foxy is the most normal one of them all. Uh, so I'm gonna give uh, the models and the animation a 6. Memorability, I'll give it a, a 2. No one barely even remembers the, th the song. Accuracy wise, it has nothing from FNAF 3. It has the FNAF 3 name in the video, but zero FNAF 3 assets or models and then sad. Because I didn't even know it was a FNAF 3 song. So that makes it hard to remember as it has a FNAF 3 song, but it's just sad. <sighs> Sad, I'm gonna give it a sad one. FNAF 3 is a sad C, just as as I said, mediocre as fuck. FNAF 4, gotta be one of the best FNAF song I have ever listened to. The voice changer actually works this time, being the sound of a child and not a robotic voice. Also, the beat is so good and the lyrics are just straight up fire. I'm gonna give it a 10. The animation is sadly terrible. I think they decided uh, to do the same with FNAF 1. With the room, uh, but with effect since remember everyone thought that FNAF 4 was the end of the series, but no, was it was not. So yeah, three. 
Memorable quality is better than FNAF 3, but not as memorable, which I hate because the song is actually great this time. So I'll give it a 5. Lorewise is good. The song is about uh, the crying child trying to survive, and it's accurate. What's the game? I mean, what's the can you extract from the game other than the child is trying to survive? So I'm gonna give it uh, 5. I'll give FNAF 4 an A. FNAF Sister Location, the song is straight up fire, the lyrics and the beats and the beautiful voice, they really nailed that one with the voice acting. FNAF Sister Location, I'm gonna give it a 9, it's really good, but not perfect. The animation is literally fire, with the movement and the character designs are better than the abomination that was FNAF 3. I'm gonna give it a 10. Memorability is so forgettable for a lot of people, I don't know why. But I guess the older the song is, the more rememberable, rememberable the song gets. I'm gonna give uh, FNAF Sister Location Memorability a 4. The lore accuracy is very accurate, besides the only thing being the fire didn't happen. Other than that, I'm gonna give lore, the lore accuracy an 8. FNAF Sister Location is an 8 here. FNAF Security Breach, not gonna lie, before I listened to the song, I hated it because I thought it was just glorifying the game but now I get it the song talks about how the state of the game is and how the community being terrible and spreading negativity and how the old times were better now let's go back to the song it's awesome instead of going for a fast paced song instead it goes for a slow song with deep meanings I'm gonna give the song an 8 the animation here is fantastic it went from a FNAF office with effects to a comic style uh, with such a good movement, I love it. Also, Vani gets some more screen time than Security Breach itself. <laughs> I'm not joking, the animation is at 10. On memorability is bad because it's a new song that no one even remember the song even existed. For memorability, it's a zero. For the lar accuracy, it's okay. I mean, the video shows Gregory and Glamrock Freddy escaping, but that's pretty much it. On accuracy, I'll give it a 5. FNAF Security Breach gets an A. <sighs> Finally, I finished it. This video took 6 hours to write without editing or voice acting. Please, I want you to subscribe, please. And thank you. I was your host, Maskar, and I'll see you next time. Peace.